What is up? <laughs> What's up? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com. Back with another MacBook Air M1 video for everybody that's been asking all the questions. All the questions won't be answered in this video, but a couple of them will. So <laughs> today I'm actually going into Ableton and doing the same uh, type of plugin test using Omnisphere and Keyscape. And we're going to see how many uh, instances of Omnisphere we can get in there before we start to run into some issues. Uh, just to start off, I do want to say Ableton is not optimized for uh, the M1 chip from Apple yet. I mean, well, from Ableton. Uh, they hopefully will soon, but the apps such as Ableton, FL Studio, and certain things like that, especially Adobe even, uh, that are running through Rosetta 2 translation, uh, they actually are running pretty smoothly, and I really can't really tell a difference uh, running through Rosetta versus running natively uh, on my PCs even. So we will start and get right into this. So this ain't like a professional benchmark or anything like that. I'm a regular producer dude, and I'm going in here and like anybody else would and i haven't even tested this in ableton yet so i'm doing it for the first time uh just going in and starting to load stuff up i'm gonna put a little pattern on there like i did in my other video that you can check out i did the same thing in fl studio but so we got omnisphere right there drag that guy in Just two little chords. And just a heads up, I said this in my last video, it might get annoying, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is just to see how much we can do, how much we can push it, so let's get started. That's the first one. I will consolidate that. I will... Drag in number two. Grab a ARP. I don't want nothing too simple to really see it go to work. All right, we have five. CPU hovering around 29, 30%. That sound is crazy.
It's doing pretty good. Like, it's not even skipping or stuttering when I load the sound or anything. Alright, that's 10 Omnispheres. I'm going to start with Keyscape now. Getting a few pops now. I'm at uh, 10 Omnispheres and 3 Keyscapes, and this is around the point where the uh, FL Studio test started to stumble a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely popping now. All right, so at 13, 14 tracks, that's when, that's exactly the same as the uh, FL Studio did. Uh, spoiler alert. Let me check the settings. And by the way, this is all straight off battery um, on the MacBook. So it's pretty good. It's running at the buffer size 512. I'm gonna bump it up to 2048. We're gonna skip 1024 and see if that makes a difference. That actually made it worse and that's weird too. We have 44, 100 for the sample rate, and I bumped it all the way up to 2048 samples. And it got worse. Let's see, back to 512. So, there we go with that. Let me take off. Two keyscapes. Now we 10 Omnisphere, two keyscapes. It's completely cold, but um, I think that is still, there's a lot going on. But you got to keep in mind, again, this is a MacBook Air running off a of battery an impressive battery at that like you can really do work I've been in Photoshop and Lightroom editing for hours and look up and still have like over 85 90% battery like it's it's crazy like you can literally not charge all day and probably into the next day for most people um, so that's what we got today uh, I don't want to take up too much time next video is more than likely going to be logic and we'll try that uh, running natively the new version of logic as well as uh, running it through Rosetta to see if that makes a difference I have heard that it does but we will find out if you want to see all that or you have any other questions hit the subscribe button hit the comment section let me know what you think uh, are you interested in these let me know something you want to see um, also hit the like button, not the other one, just the like button until next time. Hold it down.